Hey, welcome to Tabletop Skirmish Games. I'm Lee, and in this video, we'll be taking a look at the brand new Mark IV Horus Heresy squad revealed today on the Warhammer community site. So it looks like the Beaky Boys are back as we get a new squad for Warhammer Horus Heresy, and we saw about the new edition of that in an earlier preview. But if you're a fan of Horus Heresy and you're looking forward to this new game that's all going to be with plastic miniatures, then it's good news for you because the Warhammer community site are going to be revealing new models every Thursday throughout April. So let's take a look at this new squad. And here we go. There is a video on the Warhammer community site, which is a great introduction to these. And I think they've picked a fantastic colour to paint them in because this looks awesome. I mean, how many times can you take a Space Marine and just make it look cool? It's just brilliant, really, how they do it. But I think the video helps because it just looks great. And then it shows you you can have them in the different chapters as well. And these are all plastic miniatures, which is really great. And so this is going to be perhaps something you could add to Warhammer 40,000. I don't see why not. You're going to be limited on the weapons because it says in the article this is a Legion tactical squad. So it's got the old style bolters and bayonets. But the sergeant does get a plasma pistol and choice of power sword, power fist or lightning claws. So there is going to be some customization throughout the whole squad. Let's have a closer look now at each of them. So there's going to be 10 models all together and there's lots of different poses and variety of weapons you can choose from. As well as the ones we just went through, there's also going to be some optional war gear such as the Legion Vexilla, which they tell us is the banner that you saw in the trailer, a Nuncio Vox, so this is like a, a Vox caster for keeping in touch with command, an Augury Scanner, as well as Melter Bombs, Frag Grenades, and crack grenades. There's going to be lots you can add on to the models here. But I love the pouches that the pistols are in, the holsters. They're really great. And I like the details they put down on the feet as well. They're really cool. There's little grooves. That looks great. These are also going to include a range of helmeted and unhelmeted options. But I think the beakies look great. I think they're really cool helmets to have. So I'd certainly be fielding them with the helmets on. And I'd love to build these as some kind of raven guard for 40k. The only thing I don't like is this crest on the head, this brush thing. I'm not into that. I'd probably leave that off for sure. But the rest of it is looking awesome. I think they've done a great job of bringing these up to date. Let's have a look up close now so we can see some more of the details. You've got the shoulder pads and everything. That's a nice banner there. and I like how they incorporated the skull into it too. So that's really cool. I wasn't sure about the studded shoulder pads when I saw them before but on these they look great I think they look fantastic and there's another server skull there you can see on the model too so some nice little touches and you can add a chain blade to the barrel of the gun if you want to too you can see that in the bottom left the little bit of the sword we can see looks pretty good as well but I'm not sure about the lightning claw whether that fits in with the power fist he's wearing maybe with a different chapter that would fit in with a different color scheme so there we go, that's the squad of Beakies, and there's going to be loads more coming throughout April as they tell us every Thursday there's going to be a new plastic model released. So that's pretty exciting. Hopefully we'll see some vehicles soon. That'd be really cool. I'd love to know what you think about these new Beakies, and is this a tactical squad you'll be interested in picking up? Are you looking forward to Horus Heresy, or could you imagine using these in Warhammer 40k? Let me know down below in the comments section. I'd love to hear what you think. But for now... Thanks so much for watching. Please like if you like it, subscribe for more videos like this, and don't forget to hit that notification bell to join me next time on Tabletop Skirmish Games. I'd like to say a huge thank you to my Patreon supporters who make these daily videos possible, and if you're interested in joining the community, it'd be awesome to see you there, and I'll put a link for that in the description down below. <laughs>